Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. So we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, week 13 in the NFL season is over. It's getting closer and closer to the end of the regular season. The playoffs are coming up, and I'm going to go over the week 13 NFL games, see what I think about them. On Thursday night football, the Buffalo Bills beat the New England Patriots 24 to 10. The Bills are 9 and 3 and the Patriots are 6 and 6. Josh Allen had a great game. He had 223 yards and two touchdowns. And on the Patriots side, Mac Jones had a decent day. He had 195 yards and a touchdown, but it was not enough for the New England Patriots to get the win over the Buffalo Bills. On Sunday, the Pittsburgh Steelers beat the Atlanta Falcons 19 to 16. The Steelers got a much needed win. They're now 5 and 7 and the Falcons are 5 and 8. Kenny Pickett had 197 yards and a touchdown. He played pretty decent. And on the Falcons side, Marcus Mariota had 167 yards, a touchdown, and interception, but the Falcons could not pull out a win over the Steelers. The Green Bay Packers beat the Chicago Bears 28 to 19. The Packers are now 5 and 8 and the Chicago Bears are now 3 and 10. Aaron Rodgers had 182 yards and a touchdown for the Packers. A.J. Dillon had 93 yards and a touchdown on the ground. And Justin Fields, he returned. He had 254 yards and two interceptions for the Bears, and he had 71 rushing yards and a touchdown. But the Chicago Bears are really struggling to find wins right now, and the Packers were finally able to get a win over the Bears. The Detroit Lions beat the Jacksonville Jaguars 40-14. to The Jaguars are now 4-8, and the Detroit Lions are 5-7. and Trevor Lawrence had 179 yards and a touchdown. But Jared Goff for the Lions at 340 yards and two touchdowns. DeAndre Swift at 62 yards and a touchdown. And the Detroit Lions ran and threw all over the Jacksonville Jaguars, and they got a big win. The Minnesota Vikings beat the New York Jets 27 to 22. The Vikings are now 10 and 2, and the New York Jets are now 7 and 5. The Vikings are having a fantastic season, and they got yet another win. For the Jets, Mike White at 369 yards and two interceptions, and Kirk Cousins at 173 yards and a touchdown. Dalvin Cook at 86 yards and a touchdown on the ground, and the Vikings were able to pull out another close win. The Washington Commanders and the New York Giants tied 20 to 20. The Commanders were 7 5 and 1, and the Giants were 7 4 and 1. This game went to overtime, and no team was able to pull out a win. It's crazy that this game ended in a tie. Taylor Heineke had 275 yards and two touchdowns, and Brian Robinson had 96 yards on the ground for the Commanders, and Daniel Jones had 200 yards and a touchdown and 71 rushing yards, and Saquon Barkley had 63 yards and a touchdown. But neither team was able to get this win, and it's going to be very interesting how the playoff picture shakes out for both teams because both teams are on the cusp of making the playoffs. But it's going to be very interesting since both teams now have a tie, how that turns out. The Philadelphia Eagles won another game. They beat the Tennessee Titans 35-10. to The Eagles had the best record in the NFL at 11-1. And the Tennessee Titans now fall to 7-5. and Ryan Tannehill had 141 yards and a touchdown, but he got banged up a little bit and he had to leave the game. And Jalen Hurts at 380 yards and three touchdowns. He's playing fantastic this season for the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Eagles, if they keep playing the way they are, they can maybe you never know when it's Super Bowl. The Baltimore Ravens beat the Denver Broncos 10 to 9. The Ravens are 8 and 4 and the Broncos are 3 and 9. Russell Wilson had 189 yards through the air, but the Denver Broncos are really struggling this season. And for the Ravens, Lamar Jackson was 3 of 4 for 11 yards, but he got hurt and that is bad news for the Baltimore Ravens. He is probably going to be able to return in a few weeks. Hopefully for the Ravens, and Tyler Huntley in his absence had 187 yards and an interception, but the Baltimore Ravens were able to pull out a low-scoring win over the Denver Broncos, but hopefully for the Ravens they can get Lamar Jackson back. The Cleveland Browns beat the Houston Texans 27-14. to The Browns are 5-7, and and the Texans are the worst team in the NFL at 1-10-1. They are really struggling this season, but the Cleveland Browns, Played pretty well in this game with the return of Deshaun Watson. He only had 131 yards in interception, but Nick Chubb at 80 yards on the ground. For the Texans, Kyle Allen at 201 yards, a touchdown and two interceptions. He's playing now instead of Davis Mills. He tried, but he kind of struggled as well, and the Texans just cannot find ways to win right now. The Seattle Seahawks beat the Los Angeles Rams 27-23. to The Seahawks are now 7-5. The defending Super Bowl champ Rams are 3-9. and nine. They are really struggling this season. Geno Smith had 367 yards, three touchdowns, and interception for the Seahawks. He played great. John Wolford had 178 yards and two interceptions in Matthew Stafford's absence, who's now out for the season. And that really basically all but ends the hopes for the Rams. They've had a lot of injuries this season and some players that they traded away, and that is why the Rams are having a bad season, but a really good win for the Seahawks. The San Francisco 49ers beat the Miami Dolphins 33-17. to The 49ers are 8-4, and and the Dolphins are 8-4. and The Miami Dolphins finally lose their first game with two attack of Iloa in the lineup. 
but he had a good game. He had 295 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. Beside the two picks, he played pretty well. And on the 49ers side, Brock Purdy at 210 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. But unfortunately for Jimmy Garoppolo, their starting quarterback, he was 2 of 4 for 56 yards. He is now out for the season. He got hurt, and that might hurt the 49ers' chances of being able to do some damage in the playoffs. If Brock Purdy can play well and be able to throw the ball to Christian McCaffrey and Debo Samuels, they might be fine. But it really stinks for Jimmy Garoppolo that he got hurt because he was playing really well. And hopefully he can get healthy and hopefully the 49ers can win without him. The Cincinnati Bengals beat the Kansas City Chiefs 27 to 24. This was a fantastic game. The Kansas City Chiefs are now 9 and 3 and the Cincinnati Bengals are now 8 and 4. Patrick Mahomes at 223 yards and a touchdown and he took a big hit as he dove for the end zone but thankfully he's okay. And Joe Burrow had 286 yards and two touchdowns. He played fantastic as well and this was a fantastic game and a great win for the Cincinnati Bengals. The Las Vegas Raiders beat the Los Angeles Chargers 27 to 20. The Chargers are now 6 and 6 and the Raiders are now 5 and 7. Justin Herbert for the Chargers at 335 yards and a touchdown. He played well in a losing effort. And Derek Carr at 250 yards, two touchdowns and interception. And Josh Jacobs added 144 yards and a touchdown on the ground. And the Raiders are starting to find their footing, and they've been winning a few games, and they're playing much better. On Sunday night football, the Dallas Cowboys demolished the Indianapolis Colts 54-19. The Colts are 4-8-1, and and the Dallas Cowboys are now 9-3. Matt Ryan at 233 yards, two touchdowns, and three interceptions. And Jonathan Taylor at 82 yards on the ground for the Colts. Colts. And on the Cowboys side, Dak Prescott at 170 yards, three touchdowns and interception. And Tony Pollard and Ezekiel Elliott combined for over 150 yards and three touchdowns on the ground. The Dallas Cowboys played fantastic in this game. And if they can play like this, they could be a potential Super Bowl winning team. But the Cowboys have to get rid of their inconsistencies because they are a really solid team. They're just very inconsistent, but a great performance from the Cowboys. And on Monday Night Football, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the New Orleans Saints 17 to 16. The Buccaneers are now 6-6, six and six and the Saints are 4-9. The Saints gave this game away. They were up 16-3 to three with only five minutes to go. But, but Tom Brady, with yet another comeback, was able to lead the Buccaneers to victory. Andy Dalton at 229 yards and a touchdown for the Saints. And Tom Brady at 281 yards, two touchdowns and interception. And the Bucs were able to find a way to win. And they are leading the terrible NFC South division. And they're probably going to be able to win that division if they keep winning, even though the record's probably not going to be that good. So that's the Week 13 results in the NFL. The playoff picture starting to shake out completely. A lot of teams are now eliminated. And more teams are being eliminated or helping their chances of making the playoff as we go. A lot of great results this week. Comment down below what you think about Week 13 in the NFL and the playoff picture and even who you think is going to be the favorites to win the Super Bowl this year. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below, and I will see you next time.